So today we are going to be creating another print. So if you were here in December, we used kind of experimental foam and paint and we made this spray paint print. We're going to be using that idea of a print, but we're going to be making our own tools. So it's not going to make sense at first what we're doing, but we're going to be using cardboard to make a stencil basically for a city. So think about the Dallas skyline, think about your favorite city, Dubai, London, Tokyo. They're obviously filled with these really tall buildings filled with doors, windows, they're fully decorated. What I want you to do first though, is I want you to take your sketchbook and we're gonna brainstorm some ideas before we start cutting into cardboard and making our city. I want you to turn to page 10 for me and then give me a thumbs up. So, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take maybe three or four minutes and I want you to come up with three different sketches. You're gonna use all three, but think of three things that you might find in a city. And I want you to think architecturally. So think, would you find a house in a city? Maybe. An apartment building, an office building, maybe a statue. Um, think of things that you could repeat. You're gonna see more than one taxi in a city, so you could do a car. You're gonna see more than one house or apartment, something that you can repeat, because we are gonna be making prints of these over and over again to make our city. One thing I can think of is a house. So I'm gonna draw the basic shape of a house, but also feel free to do some details. I'm gonna come up with some ideas and I'll be right back. So I came up with three ideas. I have a car, a house, and I did a tall hotel. What I want you to think about as you're drawing these is how does your artwork communicate ideas on self-expression? So if you finish all three sketches early, I'll set a timer for about four minutes. I want you to maybe tell me how they're different. Maybe like you could say, um, I got these ideas from when I visited Dallas, or I saw a building that looked like this, or maybe this is my house. How did you come up with these ideas? Go ahead and sketch at least three. And then when you're done, if you finish early, tell me how they're unique. All right, so now you're gonna start making your really interesting prints. I think you're really gonna like this. So on the middle table, I have a piece of cardboard for every person in fifth grade. You're gonna take one and you're gonna be turning this into a stencil basically of your designs. All right, also on the middle table, I have some hole punchers that you are welcome to use. Just make sure that you take some sanitizer, sanitize your hands, and then when you're done with this, sanitize the actual tool. That way I can sleep at night knowing that we didn't infect anyone. Over here I have glue all. This is different. It looks like school glue, but I put masking tape on it so that you remember it's glue all. Glue all is like a craft glue. It works a little bit better. Same thing. If you're going to use this, I need you to sanitize your hands and then also sanitize the bottle before you put it back. So now here's the fun part. You're going to be sketching your ideas onto this piece of cardboard and then cutting out the little details and gluing them on top to make a really textured surface. And I'll show you at the end what this does, what we're going to be doing next time with these. But basically, you're going to be building your own tools for this project. You'll want to start out with the basic shape of whatever you're building. So I'm going to start with that really tall hotel. Don't worry about drawing in the details. There's no point because you're going to have to cut them out and glue them on. So I'm going to show you how that works. You're gonna need your scissors for this project. If you did not bring scissors, shame on you. You need to bring them next time so I don't have to take away your recess or call home. Um, but I do have some scissors that we can borrow today only. Next time, I'm for realsies, you need to bring them. All right, so this cardboard is not too tough. It's like cereal box cardboard. So you should be able to cut through it with no issues. First, you'll cut out the shape of whatever you're creating. And then you're gonna cut out some details. I want windows. So I'm just gonna cut into the cardboard and just make myself some windows, some little squares. I'm gonna have to make as many windows as I want to glue on. Don't forget things like doors. You can add letters. What other details could you add to the architectural parts of your If you system? wanna add some interesting little details like dots, like this could be like an excellent little doorknob. You can take the hole punchers, they're all different. Um, so you won't be able to know exactly what it does until you try it. But basically, you'll put the cardboard in between. You're going to press the handle. Everyone gets all confused with these because they press it. And then they see that it took a chunk out of the cardboard. But then they're like, where did it go? It's um, inside the handle. You just have to push this back. So remember to sanitize this when you're done. 
and I'm not going to do this with one hand, but basically you can tell that um, it creates little dots. You can put that out and then, of course, glue it on, put a little dot, and you'll have just a little bit more detail. All of them are different, so feel free to try them out, but just don't forget to sanitize them if you're going to borrow them from me. Then you'll take the glue, open it, of course, give it a little shake, and just give it little touches of glue, not too much, because we are gonna store these and I don't want these getting glued together. You can always look back at your sketches to see what you need to add. I'm gonna go ahead and get my hotel finish and then I'm gonna move on to my house and my taxi. So basically, the reason we're doing this is we are going to let this dry and then use it as a tool. This is not our final project, but I wanted to show you the reason why we're doing this so you have a little bit more understanding. So I have this template for a building. I'm gonna put a piece of paper over it and I am just going to trace it with my crayon. But remember, you can use whatever you decide to do and your image will appear. But remember, a print is where you transfer an image from one item to another and it can be repeated. So if I wanted to make a whole city of this building, I could because I have this template that's not going anywhere. And suddenly I can repeat that same image over and over again. That's what I love about this. It's like you do it once, but then you have this template forever, which is pretty cool. And you can make your city pretty interesting that way and repeat your buildings. So this is for another time. I'm gonna go ahead and put my city to the side. Don't lose it. I'm going to do my house and my car and I'll tell you what to do when you're done. A city could be really anything. Maybe it's a tropical city, a Mars city. Maybe it's something from your neighborhood. So there I go. I have my house, I have my high tower, and then I have my random car taxi thing. Like I said, you're probably gonna wanna let these dry. I'm just gonna do one just so I can see what it will look like next time. So I would hold it with two fingers and then go over it with the media of my choice. So I think that's pretty interesting. And then you can, of course, repeat this. Don't worry about going big. You can make these as big as you want. We're gonna have a huge piece of paper that we're gonna use. In fact, it's gonna turn into our portfolio, so you'll be able to start taking your things home soon. If I were you, when you finished, of course, let these dry on the table. I would just take something, either a pencil, crayon marker, and write your name somewhere on it. I'm just gonna write Mr. Boatfield. And then where I want you to keep these today is on the table to dry. And at the very end of class day, you're gonna put it inside your sketchbook. So I would just like open up the cover, and put them in there. Just make sure that they're not covered in glue, otherwise your cover is gonna stick to them and you'll never see them again. If you finish early, I would love it if you could add some decoration to your sketchbooks. All the sketchbooks look the same. Why don't you add some color to it? Fill out the questions if you haven't already. Remember the backside is for you to decorate as well. Have fun and I'm excited to see your cities next time. Online learners, I want you to take a picture of what you created today. If you could, you could go ahead and swipe up on your screen. Press Art Portfolio. I'm going to put in fifth to help narrow it down. And you should see your name, fifth grade Art Portfolio. Click on it. Or if you can't do that or just can't find it, I have your portfolio on the Google Classwork page. Just scroll down to find your portfolio here, and you will see that file. I want you to upload something to page, or I should say slide, 26. Unit. Hopefully you should have some items here from last time. Um, you may have to move some things around. You may have more than one on the same slide, but that's okay. On slide 26, pictures of art in process, press insert, image, whoop, insert, image, ah, camera. And then of course, take a picture of either one or all of your amazing cardboard pieces. You can use cereal boxes. It's totally up to you. Have fun, y'all.